This is Gene Key, KDD News. NewsChannel10.com reports a Borger man is sentenced to 45 years in prison for the killing of 36-year-old Gloria Eris last April. 38-year-old Jose Israel Rodas was sentenced Wednesday after pleading guilty to first-degree murder and waiving his right to a jury trial and right of appeal. Eris' body was found with multiple stab wounds on April 18th last year. The Associated Press reports a West Texas deputy has been fired after being accused of reckless injury to a child for failing to secure a gun that one of his sons used to accidentally shoot another. Police say the four-year-old boy survived being shot in the abdomen by his five-year-old sibling, who allegedly used their father's service weapon. Lubbock County Sheriff's Office spokesman Lieutenant Jason Stewart on Thursday said 32-year-old Justin Lee Jones was terminated, then arrested. Jones, who'd been a deputy for more than seven years, was freed after posting $100,000 bond Wednesday. Jones was indicted Monday over the August 20th shooting of his then four-year-old son, Tyler. From the Associated Press, Rescuers Wednesday pulled a Texas family from a car that had been buried in a snowdrift for nearly two days on a rural New Mexico highway. State police say rescuers had to dig through four feet of ice and snow to free the Higgins family of Santa Fe, whose red Yukon got stuck on US-56 near Springer when a blizzard moved through the area Monday. Police say David and Yvonne Higgins and their five-year-old daughter were clinging to each other and lethargic when they were found about 2.45 Wednesday morning. The family is recovering at Miners Colfax Medical Center in Raton. State police say they got a distress call and launched a search for the family Tuesday evening. The Higgins were among 32 vehicles state police and guardsmen rescued from the storm, only ones who police say needed medical attention. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.